So tell me about where you are in y'all's business, non-salon business life mm -hmm. and the investments and the things okay. that y'all do. What's your, what's your involvement there? Um, I love that part too. And mainly I love having different streams of income coming yeah. in because I've, it makes me feel better about the salon, not it not being so heavy of, um, of it being like a, a prov providing for us. The pressure. Um, yeah. I love having all these different streams coming in. So we've gotten involved with um, investing in different opportunities and uh, oil and gas, ATMs. Um, what else have we done? I don't even know. Uh, land. Land, land uh, deal, yeah. Yeah. Um, and just so ask, that's just ask about your investments, I'll tell you. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you probably know more about it than I do. <laughs> so t tell me about mm -hmm. the um, – the, the, Rock's involved in Wealth Without Wall Street, mm -hmm. I think, more than you are. Tell me about your involvement there. Are yeah. you involved there other than going to the events? Tell I me do. about that. Yeah. What's that? I love it. I love all things business. Um, same thing with that group. They're very like-minded. Yeah. Um, but I love just listening. I like to be in a room with people that are that are doing things bigger than I'm doing them, and I just want to learn everything I can from them. And that group is those people. Um, I feel so alive when I'm in that group. Um, I... I don't know. They just, they inspire me to be better. They, they help me to, to think differently to, um, they challenge me to the questions they ask. I'm like, I don't, I've never asked myself that question before, you know? Um, so that's, that's that group. I, I love that group. Heard nothing but good things about it. Mm -hmm. So talk to me about this. You're around a lot of different, um, whether it be the, the mastermind group you guys are involved mm -hmm. in, you know, all the different hustlers and people like the people at your salon. 35, 35, 6, 36 year old woman. It's extremely successful. Mm -hmm. Married four kids. Business owner. Okay. You've got a girl, a woman that comes to you and says, I want to be a business owner. Mm -hmm. Not necessarily I want to be a business owner like you. I want to be a business owner. Okay. What would you tell them? The number one or number two things. What would you tell them? Mm. I would, for one thing, don't give up. Like, okay. that's that's something that I've seen people that have been successful or done well, they haven't given up. Mm -hmm. um, so even when they fail or even when things happen, they just keep putting one foot in front of the other. And I've just seen so much greater success that way than someone that does, you know, give up and say, oh, it was too hard or it didn't work out or don't give up. Um, write your vision down. That was something okay. that was huge for us. It's just writing it down on paper. Um, I think that just, there's, puts, there's power behind that. Right. Yep. Okay. What are you really, really good at? Un, <laughs> no ego, okay. whatever. I like, whether you think it, whether you don't think it, whatever, someone's told you, hey, you're great at this. Mm -hmm. What, what are you good at? Cause mm -hmm. everybody's got something that they're good at, no matter how talented or untalented they are. Mm -hmm. What are you really good at? Okay. I have two things. Great. Okay. <laughs> I love it. Most people are like, I don't know. I don't okay. know what I'm good at. One thing is I can make the best chocolate chip cookies you've ever had. Really? I've, I have my own recipe. Okay. And you being a chef. Okay. Uh, I am very, I, I'm very good at chocolate chip cookies. I really and I'm very confident in that. I really want to taste some. This. Okay, great. I'm very good at it. Number two. Have, okay, number two is, um, and I've had to work on this because I think that when we have a gift, yeah, that we can either allow the enemy to use our gift or we can allow Jesus to use our mm. gift. So it depends on who you allow to use it. Right. So I'm very good at discerning situations. I'm very good at discerning people. I can listen to someone and and be like, mm, I can I just can see things sure a little clearer um, when I'm talking to someone. But with that, I've had to learn not everything true has to be said. Like if I'm sitting here talking to someone and I can, it doesn't mean I have to tell them everything. Yeah. Um, and then also uh, to not be so judgmental. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot, there's somebody asked me one time, well, why do you feel like you have that gift? And I said, I think it's to pray, to intercede for those people. It's not to, yeah. you know, call them out in it. Does that make sense? That makes total sense. I love so that. So I think I'm very good at discerning that's really really good because that's a gift because some people are really good at it some of the time some people are really good at it all the time and being able to say that hey this is something i'm good at it's wonderful and that also 
probably keeps you really spiritually grounded, mm-hmm. meaning like, hey, I love this gift because mm-hmm. that's a great gift to have. Mm-hmm. And you probably want to keep developing that thing. Mm-hmm. 